It's taco time. Taco time. <laughs> taco time. Good? Yeah. You're going to be getting a two for one special today. You have Chef Noel and myself at the same time. We're going to be two types of tacos. You know, we say Taco Tuesday, but we're both about tacos every day. Yes. We're gonna, Chef Noel here is going to be doing a chicken taco. I'm going to be doing a codfish taco. So I'm going to take over my friend here to begin and see yes. what he's got going on. And then Back and forth. For sure, yeah. Thank you guys really good food. Let's go. Alrighty, so this one is a special treat, right? Yes. Because I had taco on my menu, yeah. and it's so funny that Chef Latoya had taco on her menu. So we decided why not just collab and do taco for everyone, you know, taco everything. Yes. So what I'm gonna what am I gonna do for you guys is show you how to make a homemade mayonnaise. What do you do when your mayonnaise finish at home? You buy a new one, right? Yeah. I buy a new one too. Yes, so today we are pleading the blood of Jesus on that. <laughs> so we're going to make sure you how to make your own meal. The texture is going to be different. Why? Because it is fresh and the one that is in store has cornstarch and all these starches, which is extra thick. Cornstarch, um, the mayonnaise should be thick, yes, but it's a sauce at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create that from mayonnaise and then, but what I'm gonna do differently today is create for you a coconut mayonnaise. Have you seen that before? Uh, that's what I like, doing things that is different. Sometimes some person say, oh, well, that's not good, but I like being different. And that's my aim as a chef, to showcase, you know, different stuff, right? Right, so now, everybody knows how to make um, mayonnaise, or if you don't know how to make mayonnaise, it's egg and oil. So yeah. you know, I'm actually curious to see my partner here yeah. how you're not, are you not using oil at all? Yes, I want to use some oil. But a good thing with Grace is that they have this lovely virgin coconut olive oil. Ah, really? Yeah. Olive oil. And they also have the coconut olive oil and some olive more oils and stuff. Okay. But what I just recently learned is that um, with Grace, there are some products that's in Jamaica, in the US and in Canada, is different. Yes. Yes, it's yes. very different. So you can't get some stuff here that is in the US. So some stuff might be new to you. Like I didn't know about this one, the coconut vinegar. But well, we get the best products in Canada, right? Yeah. Have you seen this one before? The coconut vinegar? No. I just asked the Canadian yeah. crowd, do we get the best products in Canada? No. Yes or no? no. Seriously, no. people, can we have a Canadian for a day? Can we be Canadian for a day? Can we be Canadian for a day? No? I knew you want justice. <laughs> <laughs> we all want justice, right? <laughs> yes, so, so we want to demonstrate that Grace, we need all these products and tell them what we need here, right? Alright. So I'm going to show you quickly and Lotta is going to help me because the thing is with cooking is sometimes it's about the technique and with this mayonnaise you need to create an emulsion. So she's going to drip the olive, the oil for me, which is going to, I'm going to show you. So Does anybody know what the term emulsify means? So emulsify is when you're blending, so if you're, for instance, you're making salad dressings, you're making uh, mayonnaise, things like that, aiolis, what you have to do is learn the technique of like putting one ingredient in while mixing the other ingredient at the same time. It's called emulsifying. You can also buy like an emulsifier, like those hand blenders I think people might have seen. Yeah. So those types of things as well, like if you're making soups or whatnot, it'll work the same way. Just when you're making something as delicate as like an aioli or a mayonnaise, you don't want to use that hand blender. You want to use a whisk and you want to use your hand. Good old, old school style of cooking. So I'm just using the egg yolk, and these are at room temperature. And then, so I'm just using three eggs. So who knows the difference between a fresh egg and an old egg? Anybody tell me the difference? You're calling my ex old? Not the exciting egg. Are you calling my ex old? I'm not calling your ex old. I'm just making, I'm just asking. Oh, okay. I'm just, just checking. <laughs> All right. Who knows what a fresh egg looks like and an old egg looks like? Expired date's nothing. If I'm, a, if I'm a major corporation, I'll stamp whatever expired date I want on it. How can we tell what's fresh and what's not fresh? Seriously, nobody? We have some gifts, so. Sorry, what's your name? No. No. Those are common fall eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Yard fall. 
Like growing up for me, I would just go to the back of the yard and just pick up a head. And it would have been an orange yolk. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't remember. I can't recall. So we just eat eggs for eggs, really. I don't. Yes. But it's good to know the freshness. But I think there's so much varieties now on the market. You don't know if it should be yellow or orange. So I'm happy you brought that up. Yeah. So orange is fresh. So orange is fresh. So if you see yellow, don't throw it away. No, no, good. don't throw it away. I'm yeah. just saying, though, we've got a super fresh yeah. egg yolk. It's with yeah. orange. And it's really good for our local farmers. The Mennonite farms are awesome. And you can actually, your eggs will be a lot cheaper. Go to your Mennonite farms, go to your local grocers and whatnot. You're going really to get those fresh farm eggs. Why not support Ontario? Yeah. Support Alrighty, so for the meal now, this is three egg, um, egg yolks. And what I'm going to add now is some Dijon mustard, just to add some flavor. A grainy mustard or regular? Yeah, just grainy, a little grainy. You can use any mustard you like. As I told him earlier, cooking is not religion. No. You don't have to follow it as, you know. No, like recipes that. are just guidelines. Yeah. And then now, what I'm going to do is the thing is, it's best to season last. When you're cooking, it's best for some stuff to season last because. Why is that? The salt sometimes can break down your product. In terms, it's science, it's all science. Some stuff we as chef understand, some stuff we have to research. It's all science. Cooking is science. So it's best to add your seasoning last to also get the right flavor that you need at the end. So you season to taste. That's the reason why most recipes will tell you season to taste because it's to your liking. You know what I'm saying? Agree? You want to have it? Agreed, agreed. agreed. <laughs> all right. So this is some mustard, and I'm going to add to this now some coconut vinegar and this is just to taste and my chef is going to add my oil for me yeah. and the good thing with this it takes like one to two minutes so you want to do slowly slow let me get this all the way so you got if I was using a blender in like a minute it's like me already but I decided to use my whisk to show you guys the steps and for me it takes a lot hmm? yeah I'm gonna need more for sure we'll need more he needs to miss like a little bit quicker a little bit harder yes 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 like, all right I'm sorry. Women need to come in here and like do this for them. Someone wanna come and try? <laughs> so what we'll do we'll just waste, 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 and it I become creamy. So you can make your own mayonnaise. So throw this in the arm, food process at home, and in no time you have some mayonnaise there. Some person I'm sure gonna be scared like, oh, too much eggs. Because you are seeing the eggs, but mayonnaise has egg in it that you make at home and the real mayo should be light yellow what we see is really white but when you use your egg but when you use that like you blend this and become so creamy it will become like i might say whitish yellow there about but it should have that yellowish color so we're good to go i think we're good to go yeah so we just i think in paint terms they call it eggshell color everybody see eggshell when they paint we kind of have that color to it so it's like a white with like a little bit of a yellow highlight and then what Can you, you tell do is to mix a little harder and faster. So okay, yeah. I'll mix some more. <laughs> and I will also add some of this to it, the coconut oil as well. I show, All right, I show you she's gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to my, you know, my blend at home. I'm just showing off today. Yeah, trying to show off, but it's not happening. Yeah. Think about if anybody's ever made a meringue before, where you just using egg whites. Yeah, sometimes right. I cook 
somebody or some shit. Like that. Yes, yeah. I'll see everybody or she's. She know what's up. So uh, when I have questions to ask at the end for prizes, I expect you to be yeah. back there to know exactly what's happening. Would you go home and make your own meal? Yeah, would you? Yeah. If you do make your own meal at home, don't have, does have a shelf life in the fridge for about three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. So it's just not bad. And this is good because there's no additives, which is good for your body as well. So fresh is best. And that's what we need in this time now. So as you can see, the color is changing a little bit, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we can do that over there. Yeah. So what I will do today, I will go all the way so I get that creamy, but if you use your blender, it will become like real thick. So it's over now to Chef Latoya and then we'll come back and make up some tacos. I'm making a jerk chicken taco with my coconut mayonnaise and she's doing a cod. Take it away, your turn. So yes, as I said, I'm doing the, as Chef said, I'm doing the cod fish tacos. Now for this taco like type of thing, you want to get a meatier fish. I enjoy the cod, but it's a little bit higher in price if you want to do something else. Salmon will work really nice. Um, halibut will work great, haddock will work really nice as well. I'm trying to urge everybody that comes to my programs or comes to my thing to please stop cooking. Stop eating tilapia. <laughs> Tilapia, we don't know where it came from. We have no idea where it started, where it originated from. It is a man made fish, so stop using it. Okay, so use all your other white fish. I know everybody's like, oh, tilapia is healthy, it's great. Yes, I'm sure it is. But I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it originated from, so I don't want to eat it, and I'm trying to encourage you to not to eat it either. We already have enough hot mercury in our fish already, but stop eating man made stuff and start eating. And if you can, avoid getting farmed and more getting fresh or Atlantic, by all means, try and do that as well. Now I understand too, for financial reasons, if it's easier to get the farm, go ahead, but if you can, and if you find stuff on sale, buy it fresh and freeze it, portion it out, put it in your freezer and go with it. So what I did was I marinate this. If you're not making your own jerk seasoning, this is the one I strongly recommend, it's the gray jerk seasoning. And this is the paste of marinade, so it's really good. You got a little bit of oil just to thin it out if you're using it on your fish, because it might be a little heavy for the fish. You put a little oil in it, it'll thin it out and it'll spread over evenly. Even to marinate, not for too long, it's not chicken, it's, it's fish, okay? As I said earlier, when you have something with high like pepper or acidity or acid and whatnot, it'll break down very quickly. So really you just need this on for me like five, 10 minutes and you're good to go. And this one here is a mild gravy, so it's not always into the really, really spicy kind of food. This is a really good one. So you're still gonna get that jerk flavor, but without the heat. So we just let that sit for a little bit. And I, just, I don't mind if it breaks up. I'm actually gonna break it up in the frying pan because we're gonna add this and we're gonna shell it with a fork and we're gonna make our fish tacos. Okay. And this is your favorite taco to have at home? If I could eat this every day, I would. And don't feel bad about it. All my tacos are 320 calories. So you can eat like two and not feel bad. Or three, I never feel bad. I don't get these curves by feeling bad. But, Letting everybody else out there try no, no, to healthier fine. tacos is more than enough. If you use smaller shells, like our friend over here, which yeah. is a smaller shell, that actually comes to be about 220 calories. I'm like the bigger shell because I want to like be like real style. Yeah. Okay. I go to church every Tuesday just for taco. Yeah, I'm taco Tuesday. I said I go to church every day. I say preach. I want to eat tacos every day. <laughs> So that's gonna be done now. We'll take that off. And then what I'm gonna pair with my tacos, I made a fresh um, salsa here. So if anybody knows what pico de gallo is, so pico de gallo is a fresh Mexican. That's how Mexicans make their fresh salsa. Right. We understand that, guys. Jars. What you said? Pico de gallo. Oh, she was speaking Mexican just now. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> pico de gallo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I say gallo. I lived in Mexico for two months. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, she did pretty well. I couldn't pronounce that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically it's fresh salsa. So all yeah. I did was I made the fresh salsa, but I added some mangoes to it. I add the mangoes to it, it gives it a different flavor. Which mango? You can use the mangoes that you use. No, we see yeah, the Asian mangoes. You can also use the. You can also use the fresh mangoes on the. 
in Jamaica we call yeah. him Julie. Thank you. Yeah, Julie, Julie East India, and the band made it very yeah. cool. Yeah. Those, those as well, those will work really, really good as well. Yeah. But you don't want your top, you don't want your mango to be too soft. You, want it, you don't want it to be mushy. Yeah. You want it to have a little bit of texture to it. So even a nice green mango will work really well. It's really well. So don't use, so don't use eerie mango. Stringy. <laughs> no, that's good if you're by yourself and yeah. nobody's around, you're eating your mango in peace, but nobody's around with a paper towel, yeah. you're good. But if we're trying to make a salsa, maybe not the best thing. Yeah, and blacky wouldn't work either. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe number eleven. Yeah. So, but so in a, in, in the pico de gallo, it's fresh tomatoes, it's white onion, it's jalapeno peppers, it's lemon juice, and it's cilantro and a little bit of salt. In tomatoes, you have to add salt, or else it'll be like bland as anything. Salt extracts the flavor from tomatoes. Ooh, well, I have, I have a question now. Oh, wait, wait cause we have gifts. Yes, we have some gifts. Questions. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually ready to play my tacos. Is he ready to play his tacos? I don't know. Uh, oh wait, are we gonna decide who's gonna get to eat at this little private, oh, yes. intimate dinner lunch over here? Yes. Giving that away? Yeah, dinner for two. So how are we gonna it do It could this? be you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the price for here now? What's the price for here? What should we do for here? Um, there's I'm gonna ask some questions. So um it might be someone different, so like we have like you know two persons here who they know each other, it can be you with someone else. So it's good to have a little meet and greet with someone different, you know, enjoying some taco under the tent. Or if you're a lovely couple who yeah. says, you know what, I'm taking you on a date today, but maybe you can buy it's your free. wallet at home. It's free. Yeah. It's a nice lunch for your ladies. Or or your gentleman. Yeah. Sure. Are right, so we gonna do some questions? Yeah, some questions, yeah. Alright. Okay, so who's really hungry? Who actually wants this? If you don't really want to eat this food, don't raise your hand. Because nobody else really wants this. And it's really good food. There we go. Okay. Oh, ask us something hard. You All right. Question. My first question is Yeah. Which year Grace started? 1858. Yeah? 1858. 1858? No. No, I think I do. Yeah. Come good, come good. <laughs> come right through. <laughs> she do her homework. <laughs> yes, yes. Take your seats. <laughs> hey, you know, we're actually going to have a couple tacos. So, you know what? Yeah. We'll make it for more than that. Yeah. We'll ask a couple questions. Later. Yeah. All right. Um, Name two ingredients in the mayonnaise. Eggs and coconut oil. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve something as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, good question. Good question. Yeah. Name me three race products. Great, uh, the there you jerk, go. The jerk marinade, the jerk uh, barbecue sauce, and the hot sauce. What? No, no, no. The what is the hot sauce? No, no. What kind of hot sauce is it? It's uh, the red hot sauce. I the red hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. She deserves it. I should, I should work hard. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. But honestly, though, I think everyone deserves a taco. Honestly, it's a nice audience. I love you guys. You guys win. I do think I deserve a taco. However, we can't help yeah. you tacos. But what well, we can give you is everybody can go around to the back to the gray stand and you get a free grace pepper sauce. <laughs> But not as yet, because we're going to play it up just to show you guys. Yeah. You guys have fun. And for all these recipes and more, you can check out uh, Grace's website. You can also go to Chef Noel's website. So yeah, website. chefnoelcunningham.com. Yeah. Right? On twistcatering.com. Social awesome. media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> I'm on everything. Yeah. I'm pretty awesome. Chef Noel's okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Guys, we want to thank everybody for coming out. Okay, before everybody goes, we actually, do we have some prizes for these guys? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, so we have some gift bag giveaways. We're going to ask some so more questions. Dinner. So, so they won dinner, so they will taste these, and then... We're going to give this lady here a taco as well. We have one, two, three, four bags. Or five bags, yeah. 
Okay, here's one question, and I, I, you know, I always ask this question to everybody because nobody ever knows it. Does anybody know my last name? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got a gift bag. We got a gift bag for the gentleman here, please. Can you get back right, please? Thank you. Okay. Max Costello. So we got four more. We got four more bags. Yeah. No. We got extra bags. Oh, five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, who knows? Who can tell me what the five main ingredients are in the pico de gallo? <laughs> Over there? Seven, okay, good. I like that. Speak up, I can't hear you. Start again, I can't hear you. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, the mango. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, the lady in the back over here. All right, what do we got next? Yeah. Um, uh, what fish Chef Latoya told us not to eat? Oh, 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 oh. Miss Art Pepper. Disqualification. Yeah. She ruined it for everybody. Starting again. Yeah. That was like easy. <laughs> okay. Other than the hot pepper sauce, what other pepper sauce is Grace made? No. Pepper? No, somebody else. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh. Scotch water. Lady in the black. Yes, lady in the black. Lady in the black. I throw them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some. We got four more bags. Yeah. Chef Noel, give me a question. What do we got? Oh, we got five bags. Okay, okay, oh, so okay. Two more. <laughs> oh, we got two more. Oh. Yes, yeah, so all of you get to give a pepper sauce. Everybody's doing a pepper sauce. You get a pepper sauce. Yeah. You get a pepper sauce. Yeah. Oprah and Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, well, that's uh, a good one. You guys are all here. I have a question, but you might need a calculator. Which year Yo, Jerk Fest yeah. started? What year did Jerk Fest start? You already have a. You already got a car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another question. Another question. You can't answer any more questions. You already want a price. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, what I'm saying now. Uh, please don't pull out Are you? <laughs> Jamaica is celebrating how much years of independence. Oh, Lord. I think I see a lady in the yellow shirt yeah. up there. Yes, she's from Miss Jamaica. Get your prize. Get your prize. I give her a one. Bring it to the lady in the back in the yellow, please. Okay. Yeah. Um, we need some more. Ah, okay, yeah. we are at Jerk Fest. Okay? Yeah. So, when you are jerking chicken, what type of wood is the chicken being smoked on? I see the lady in the back there. Huh? Yes, yes. Lady yes. In the back. Yes. Oh, back in the background. I see her true yachty. Hi, Rick. Yeah. 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 I like that. Um, who was here this morning for my demo? I made a drink this morning. Who was here? No one? Alright, no, they weren't here. Um, but they got the bag already. That's good. More questions. Oh, what's Jamaica's national dish? You listen, it's just school, guys. You better raise your hand or not pick that, up that, that was a test question. Just see if you, you know. <laughs> they know that. They know that. <laughs> What's the capital of Jamaica? Westmoreland. Who that? Stand up. Oh, I heard someone said Westmoreland. Please stand. You're going to see me national anthem for me. <laughs> Please add it for yourself. <laughs> um, next question. Uh, next question. Next question. Um, What's Chef's Latoya Care and Company? Lady in the hat. 
Yeah. I'm located in Scarborough if anybody's looking for me. Huh? I did uh, he answered that over there, yeah. Name two artists performing tonight. Oh, oh. that's the lady in the orange shirt. The red shirt. Yeah. 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 How many more bags do that? How many bags? One. Okay, that's gonna be a difficult one. Okay, last bag, last bag guys. Difficult one, last yeah. bag. What do we got? Right. Which artist performing next year? <laughs> I'm looking for the bride. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, I got my mistake by then. So you're correct. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more question. All right. Oh, you know what? I have a question for you. Yeah. I was supposed to make a cocktail. Yeah. Who's thirsty? I'm always thirsty. I'm always thirsty. All right. So whoever can answer my next question, you are going to join us over here on the couch. I'm going to make you a fresh vodka cocktail using. One of my favorites, guava, pineapple juices. Yes. One yeah, glass. Yes, one glass for myself, one glass for somebody else. Yes. Yo. Two glasses for the people. Oh, okay. Yeah. She said two glasses for them. All right. Yes. All right. So. Oh, we got to make this one difficult. This is alcohol we're giving Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have a gift bag. We have one more gift bag. Oh, yeah. Um. I know, you're bright people. What is the major cell company that's sponsoring this uh, festival today? No? Right over there. Yes! Let's get the lady a bag. Ninja Cell is the answer. Let's get the lady a bag. Alright, now for the call kill. If you do not answer if you are not 19 years of age or older. I would hope that I would want to say that, but just in case.